Dear friends, Shavu Tov, a good week. Parashat Yitro. <laughs> Do we need more miracles? Haven't we seen incredible things that happened over the last few weeks? Splitting of the sea, plagues, freedom, and now the chosen people receive the Torah, receive the Ten Commandments, receive the holiness of the world. Because with the Ten Commandments and with the being chosen as the people to receive the Ten Commandments, we change the face of the world. There is nothing greater, there is nothing more How do I say that? There is nothing more important than that which is written in the Ten Words. There is so much to say here, and we're going from the pagan Yitro who comes into the desert to see his son-in-law Moses, to bring him his sons, to bring him his wife, to convert, to see what it is that the whole world is talking about, these people that are receiving miracles from Hashem. And, of course, giving Moses advice on how to preserve his energy and help him judge the people and their problems. And of course, Moses listens because he knows. But the more, not the more, but the most important thing in all of this is the fact that we're chosen and the words must be understood in the light of the expression my firstborn son Israel Israel in whom I am glorified. Israel, he refers to the supernal world, and it is this which is called sun. So speaks Rabbi Shimon. And that's, that's where we're at. We're at the moment in our being, the moment in our history, where Nasevenishma we will do and we will hear. We take on the yoke of being Hashem's people with joy with complete and total opening and with complete and total responsibility. Rabbi Shimon said that when the Holy One came to reveal himself on Mount Sinai, he called together his whole celestial family and he told them, at present, the Israelites are like children. They will not know how to deport themselves in my presence. 
If I should reveal myself to them in the attribute of power, Gevura, they will not be able to bear it. But if I manifest myself to them in love, Rachamim, they will accept my law. Myself to them in love, they will accept my law. Therefore, the manifestation on Mount Sinai took place on the third day, which is the day of love, Rachamim. In this manner, did he reveal himself in love and then gave them the Torah from the side of power. When you listen to this, and when you know that the great voice never ceased, and that the souls of the people left their bodies because they couldn't take it, and then they were returned. And when the Torah asks Hashem, well, but why are you giving this to them? Why are you giving the Torah to them? And Hashem is confident. And Hashem knows. And Rabbi Shimon says, and God spake all these words. According to Rabbi Shimon, the word spake denon, denotes a proclamation. When the Holy One revealed himself and began to speak, the celestial and the terrestrial beings began to tremble mightily. And the souls of the Israelites left their bodies because of their mighty dread. Then the divine word descended from heaven being on the way engraved upon the four winds of the universe and then rose once more and again descended. And when it rose, it drew from the mountains pure balsam and watered with the heavenly dew. And when it reached this earth, it encompassed the Israelites and brought them back their souls. Then it encircled them again and impressed itself upon the tablets of stone until the whole ten words were designed thereon. Rabbi Shimon said further that every word contained all manner of legal implication and derivation as well as all mysteries and hidden aspects. For each word was indeed like unto a treasure house full of all precious things. And though when one word was uttered, it sounded by itself, yet when it was stamped upon the stone, seventy different aspects were revealed on it. Fifty crowns less one on the side and fifty less one on the other. Like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. And all Israel saw eye to eye and rejoiced exceedingly. And the souls of all the children of Israel, the past, present, and future, born and unborn, were present there and all might accept the Torah given on Mount Sinai as it is written, Neither with you do I make this covenant and this oath, but with him that standeth here, and also with him that is not with us here this day, and everyone according to his grade saw and received the words. We were all there, we all saw it, we all received it, we were all present, 
Not one of us was missing. You were standing next to me and I was standing next to you. And we swooned and our souls were returned. And through love and rachamim, mercy, we received the Ten Commandments. And what does this mean? What does this mean? The whole world knows the Ten Commandments. The whole world is aware of what are the Ten Commandments. But do we live them? Do we live them? Do we live according to Hashem's law? Do we live according to His gift? Do we live according to the laws spoken and unspoken that Rabbi Shimon talks about? That deep down in our souls, everything is written. Deep down in our souls, everything we know. And very consciously, we can connect to our souls. Very consciously, we can connect and listen to the voice. Hashem has chosen us. Choose. Hashem. Hashem gives us the possibility of choosing continuously. Every week he gives us the opportunity of choosing his teaching, of choosing what he wants from us, of choosing his way of life. I bless you on this auspicious day to choose Hashem, to choose His law, to choose His love, to choose His way, to choose His people, to be proud to be His people, to stand as one. Have a good week. Blessings to each and every one. Share these blessings. Amen, amen.